Hi, how you doing today? Have you ever wondered how people add those starting soon countdowns on their live streams? I don't really want to install an application to do that. Well, check out in the description below. I got two free green screen videos for you, but let me show you how to install them on your OBS. So let's jump on in. So we're in the starting soon stream. Okay, we're going to click add and we're going to add a media source because I have two videos that we're going to be adding here. All right, I'm going to do 10 minute timer. You can name this whatever you want. 10 minute countdown. Okay, we're going to add a new source. All right, we're going to browse for it. I You can install it wherever you want. Streaming stuff. I do videos for streams. So I have a 5 30 minute countdown and a 10 30 minute countdown. So first I'll do the 10. I'm going to hit open. And then basically it says restart playback when the source becomes active. That's important so that way it'll restart every time we're done. So now this is here. We're going to right click the source. We're going to hit filters. We're going to add a chroma key. Chroma key. I'm going to hit done. Now we're going to hit done. So now you just have a timer. So all we have to do now is we can resize it however we see fit and put it wherever you want. It's that simple. So for me, I'm going to put it like right there. I figure that's it's pretty legit. So yeah, now that you have your timer going up, basically all you have to do is hit the eye to shut it off, turn it back on, and it'll restart the timer. So basically you're ready to start streaming. You know, just reset it, hit your go live, and then you can wait even until the timer goes down to, to 10 to go live. I give you an extra 30 seconds just to kind of kind of set it up, whatever have you. Uh, if you go into the properties here and you click close the file and act inactive, what that means is basically you're not going to come back to your start streaming scene for a while. <laughs> you know what I mean? So basically what this will do is it won't use as many resources on your uh, on your computer when you're in game or doing something different. So it's that simple. You can shut that down. We're going to also just show you how to go add media source and then we'll do a five minute timer we'll hit add new source browse files we'll do the five minute countdown again i will click the close when inactive i'll hit done i'm going to right click this hit filters i'm going to add a chroma key to it to take away the green i'm going to hit done and then again there's your five minute timer and you resize that and you put it in your same spot, whatever, whatever you like, right? So this way you're like, you know what? I want a five minute timer. I want a 10 minute timer. You have it. You just shut it down or return on your other one. You see what I mean? It's that simple. So whichever kind of timer you want to do before you go live, you have both. So that's how you add a very simple five or 10 minute countdown to your stream. I hope this helps you guys. If you like it, please hit that thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel for more weekly how to tips and tricks on your streams so if you'd like to watch me play games as well click on the description below for a link to my twitch channel now in case you're wondering why do you not stream everything on youtube i used to do this but basically it confuses youtube and goes what the hell is this channel is it a live streaming channel is it a how-to video like what is it so you need to just stick with a niche so that's what we're gonna do if you want to see me live stream which i do every wednesdays and fridays It'll be on Twitch. Thanks guys so much. Appreciate your support. With that being said, I'll see you later. Have a great rest of your day.